You have some of them artists boy where tell the man them go some and box them down. Them still on the ground and ball like what female them but so let's up family what's up this is Leah the B Wagwan guys I'm telling you I'm telling you guys it's here it's here it's here another weekend another weekend enough things are gone Stefan done and Jada Kingdom at it the other day me ears the Jada Kingdom said the war done but uh, after Steph London sent out that the bad song that Jada Kingdom decides to know, so me, I forgot to step back in at this war. So, right now, you want to know, say, Tony Mataran among other people, even pretty Dan, I get their views regarding the whole war with Steph London and Jada. I must see where Jada come out and say some things also regarding one uh, liquor this line that was in one of our songs. But uh, you know, say when Tony Mataran give his feedback, uh, he say a lot of good things about uh, the Steph London song. You understand? And him also talk about Jada as well. So him say this song. Let me see if I can find. Let me find this song when I talk about car. I say this song, this song, this song. I don't need to say this song every minute. I need to say the name of the song. You understand? So, I come over here so and find that one. Hold on there. All on the peeps. All on the peeps. Alright, so two days ago, Steph London sang with say, Dead Girl Walking. That's the one I'm talking about. And then Jada Jada Kingdom. Clap back with another one. Me not review them there and uh, me not listen to some of them yet. I mean I gotta deal with that in a few minutes. But uh, make we hear. No. So, anyway, <laughs> Tony Matran did say a bunch of things about the song. I may listen to the song and the song bad. The song bad. The song bad. All right. So, Tony Matran said, in the song, she a flow like Tammy Lee. She have the rhyme. You understand? And. Uh, that a Steph London, him says Steph London lyrical, but Jada have the melody that are the difference between the two of them, right? Him say with the, the dead girl walking, yo, him say Steph London really outdo Jada another song there, all right? And that how me understand, maybe not say those specific words, but that's how me understand it. He also compared the two to Movado and Cartel. Yes, you understand? And him also said, which me hear quite a few entertainers said that, say, Stefan is bigger than Jada. So this war is going to do good for Jada. Because through Stefan and the bigger, bigger artists, it will help highlight Jada more. You understand? So, Steph London not a nothing for lose. Jada not really a nothing for lose. But, uh, she get a bigger exposure. Because she went up against a real contender. Right? So, um, Tony Matron agree. So, Steph London is a bad artist. He compares Steph London uh, to Nicki Minaj. He says she's a Nicki Minaj in London or half London. You understand? But him said pretty much Steph London him feels that she underestimate Jada. And because then Jada just, you know, Jada full of lyrics. Jada show, she, him said Steph London show the AK, yo, a real war a go on. So, him basically compared the two songs in terms of how and where they can play. Him said Steph London's song can play anywhere because... The lyric refer to anyone. You can't use the cuss out anyone. 
right? Him also make reference to a song with Cartel and Movado. A song by Cartel in the Movado and Cartel Clash. So him says, Steph London, this is a universal. I'm listen to some of the songs. Me, me, me listen to part of the song. Me not listen to all right yet. And I'm telling you, a lot of metaphor, a lot of simile, a lot of figure of speech was used in that lyrical composure. Composure? Composition <laughs> in the lyrical song, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man, Tony Matan said it is a all purpose this song. So, I can't use it this anybody. So, basically, and this was before, this was before Steph London. I mean, this was before Jada dropped the last song because the years said Jada clap back again. But basically, the Jada song never as bad as. The Steph London song. Alright. So we're going to listen to this. We're going to listen to what Tony Matran have to say. And then we're going to talk about some more things. Me analyze lyrics. Flow. One eye time shaft flow like Tamily. Mm -hmm. And she got the the death, the death, the death, the death, the, the ping pong rhymes. You know much artists cannot do that. Like bop ba bop ba bop ba bop ba bop. Cheer me not going to lie. Jada go for your door. Jada will I buy her blood clot weave and wing. Hey, me say, Steph, me are your friend and me and Jada are friend. Me love the two of But me not lie. You see, yesterday, when Jada grab you, and say, twinkle, and grab you by your blood clot neck. And you're the fucking hell, the bitch got my neck. The, the bitch got my neck. This bitch got my neck. Fucking get her off me, mama, mama Lon, get her off me, get her off me. And Jada said, twinkle, eh, uh, eh, uh, and grab her by her blood clot neck. Hey, Steph never expects it. Jada would have wheel her ass and flip her. Hey, Jada would her and drop her up on her head. Bloop, she drop her, her whole of England. Fucking hell. The whole, the whole of England. <laughs> all, my, all my sister in them call me. My you're not going to say nothing about this. You're not going to say nothing about this. You're not, not going to say nothing about this. Steph drop. Uh, Jada got dropped on her. Uh, um, Steph on her blood clot head. I swear. Jada. I'm proud of Jada. Because people don't get it twisted. I'm not trying to put on nobody because the two females. I'm not trying to put on a female. But if you really want to be realistic, it's two different type of artists. It's like Movado and Cartel. Jada has more melody so jada would be like the equivalent of movado melody anyway stefflan is more a lyrical nature and if 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 if, if you want to be if you want to be talking the truth remember jada this does a lot for jada even more than steph because steph is a bigger artist whether you want to like it or not, Steph is bigger than Jada Kingdom, ain't it? Facts. I could got some facts, car. We don't like Reason with Wolf. Facts. Steph is bigger than than Jada. If it was Steph and like say Shensia or Spice, then it would be a more equivalent. Jada is not yet. That I mean Jada now gonna reach it. Cause Jada gonna go further now. Jada is not yet. In Steph level of um, popularity, you know. Don't get it twisted. Jada do some fucking nice song, and Jada will out the dance hall from what they too as a female. But Steph is still bigger because Jada hasn't got a song big like Steph. So Steph is bigger, and Steph has more lyrics. But this war does a lot for the culture, and it turns Jada into a bigger star. No care what no one say, even Steph can't deny this. Jada got bigger now, and me love what Jada do. Jada, it's like, I didn't even go liar to you know. 
This is a bigger exposure for Jada going down in this year. Jada going to be killing them. Jada I going to beat the shit out of them. Because Jada just showed a side to her. Remember Jada sing, I throw it down and down. And Jada was say, no bitch can re, re, re. And me a bad girl. And you know, some look at nice, rare. But this time she really go against a real contender. At the first, Jada I go up against a real fucking contender. And she did good. She did freaking good. Cause she won Steph and grabbed Steph by her and said, Bitch, I will fuck you up. And, and Steph was like, fucking hell, the bitch the bitch run up on me. Maggie, the bitch run up on me. Fucking hell. I can't believe this bitch. She run up on me. Steph never expects a Jada would I give her such a fight? I'm not gonna lie. I know that. Because Steph, first track, even though Steph breezed through it, Steph is a bad bitch in case someone didn't know that. Me know Steph land. Steph, lyrical capability is so fucking high. It's like a Nicki Minaj. Like a, a, a UK version of Nicki Minaj. Her lyrical content is so high. She could cruise and wait by you and yes Steph if you're listening to this which I know you're fucking listening to this you underestimated Jada because Jada is a less com um, opponent than Steph Steph is a fucking um, AK-47 and Jada is like a a mini-14 so, yes, in a close combat, a mini 14, it's just like a AK 47. But when you lengthen the distance, the AK is going to show, and at that, Steph show owner today. So, everybody where that chat yesterday, when Jada Wallar um, used the big batty, I said, Bitch, you know, I'm heavy, heavy, I'm bunk Sarah. She said, Oh, shit. The bitch punks me and Jada just run in her and grab her by her neck and wheel her by her ear and fling her in the dot and drop her a ground. And she was like, Mama Land, get this bitch off me. Get this bitch off me. But yes, when Steph get up, when Steph get up, I said, bitch, you told me about my mama. Bam, bam, bam. And then back on. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Karate flip. Judo chop. Wham. You see, that's what happened today. It's shocking how few people are signing up for their Camp Lejeune Justice Act claim. You see it? That's what happened today. So, if you want to say who win, Jada for squeezing up on Stefan, give her the element of surprise and two hard on her ground, and then Steph get up back I said oh no this bitch did her bam 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 whoa 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 yeah you kind of eye ah kick her in the pum pum ah kick her in the pussy that's gimmicks that's just utter rubbish it can work because you disrespect somebody but lyrical all right now you want me to show you what I mean you want me to show you what I mean you want me to show you what I mean? After blood clot this week, you can still play the Stefan song because it can refer to anybody. You cannot play the Jada song because it only refer to Steph. Me say, me guarantee you, you can play the Jada this song today. Next week, a month from now, you cannot play the Jada this song. I am not telling you any wrong because that is a specific this towards um Stefan. Now, you want me to give you the exact because you can't blame people because if you a man is a fool to what he don't know. You remember when Cartel and Mother had done clash? You remember? And Cartel did, did the song. The boy run like a wounded dog. Bro, bro, see record. Don't run. You notice it still? Me are the last man standing. Anybody can play it. Anybody can fucking play it. But the ones them where cartel do, 
specifically for Mavado. Some of them songs they don't play anymore. That one play. The boy, them a fag, them a fag. About him, and all one on one, God, you know, it's the one they can play, even though I can't tell him do it for. It becomes universal, because I can't say the boy, they are fag. You can't say the boy, they are fag. So we, I can use that one. You see it? And when Cartel say, two of my blood clot, bad me no most no God. I say, I say, I'm a father. Are you me? Then, then, then. Go suck your mother. Where that for? Don't that can use? Because even though it's a mother of this, it's universal. What Stefan did is a twinkle this, but it's universal. Any girl, all right, never show you. If a girl and a girl have a beef, Next month, I talk with reasoning and, and real talk. If a girl and a girl like stray dog, we send them up and then, you see it? Stray dog was meant to go off an alkaline, but we, anybody can play. No. And that's the truth. All right. If Boogie Dong and I am the reason have a beef next month. Let me show you what I talk about. And Boogie Dung want to go and take a song for this, the next girl. So you can go back for the Steph Land song and dissect any part out of it like, bitch, you suck 10 cock. And, and, and hear me talk that girl there. That song didn't do for that girl. That song did for Jada Kingdom, but don't you can go back and edit the song. Ekisha, don't you can go back and edit back Stefan's song and say, I want a big pussy girl here come chat now and just put bitch you suck 10 cock and we'll send 10 man for kill you for 10 grand. You see it? That song can use anywhere and for anybody can use it. That's how bad the song is. You see it? Where Stefan did. Stefan did a, 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 a all purpose this song, even though she is this in Jada. Jada's song is only this in Stefan. It cannot use anymore. It never use anymore. Stefan's song is just like. You little bitch, you can step to me if you wanted to. This is there. Remember, people used to take pieces out of Cardi's song and diss them, matey. Because you can do that. And that song was meant to, for Nicki Minaj. Right? It's a diss track. So, overall, big up the two girls, them. Eh? And I am telling you, Steph win the lyrical battle. Lyrical content, Steph lyrics is outside the rascal art competition me not ask you no. steph land lyrical content is outside of the realm when it come out to shit yes family that is what tony matter to say about jada kingdom and steph land and performance in the clash him compare them in two different ways but we know said it was them a bad female artist Yes, guys, so we hear quite a few people still I give them input regarding the Jada Kingdom and uh, the Steph Landon War. We have Sean Paul uh, that had some stuff to say about it, uh, saying that uh, they should live better and not bother with the war. And, you know, quite a few people come and bash Sean Paul. But uh, you understand, I saw the thing set up. So basically, Sean Paul uh, uh, say, woman, no he talk so um and then feel live better and he put that on his instagram um post him say don't follow the waste them you know so sean paul look like him really agree with the clash he said i don't love this not one tall woman should be warriors yes but for a cause you should leave the way morally for the fun men get heated you calm us down. How can we calm down if you are doing that? Two beautiful black women live better. Set a better example for the culture. Me a beg you know, for the kids, for younger females. And he adds Stefan Dan and 
um jada kingdom so guys let me know what you think about sean paul concern right now my gonna make a ear from dovey magnum see what she have to say about the whole situation as well right now she has said the female artists them better than the male artists them when the male artists them do not clash what you think about that one listen to the video and then you can drop your comment in the comment section so oh nobody not talk about all the female them better than enough of them artists boy yeah? eh? Oh, nobody not talk about that to the female them a grab and a rough up and a thump up and a go at themselves. You know, you have some of them artists boy where the man them go some and box them down. Them still on the ground and ball like is what the female them bad so I tell you all the while, you know. No foul no. I just should have a bag of man back out and make no think nobody nobody like us. I'm not ask. Yes, family, that's what Dovey Magnum had to say. She said, boy, the female artists, they're bad. And the male artists, them, they're not so bad because the only reason they're going bad is because they have a bag of man. They entourage. Yes, family, and another note, Mr. Usain Bolt, come out with a video, and I'm telling you guys, it is sad that until now, we don't really hear nothing like same get back no portion of money, you know? And it is very pitiful, it's sad on the Jamaican um, government part because uh, I'm thinking that they had uh, some kind of insurance uh, against those things. And I never, never know what to say, yeah, man, because it is very, very devastating. You know, you can't say you see him both feel it to in core, but he might hang on and I try to hold the fort. So go and watch a video here and uh, drop in a comment section if you really think, say, you're saying Bolt are gonna get back at least half I money. Yo peeps, so it's been one year. Yeah, one year now. New Year just start. Just want to know some of there. Still I fight the fight, still I hold on. All that gonna stay strong. You know the country used to do it. To all the people who do support me, continue support. No number love, alright? Yes, family, that was what Usain Bolt had to say about his situation. And guys, I can hear it in his voice. It's so emotional. But, uh, you know, we could just keep him up in a prayer along with the other people them who lose their money. Right now, we're going to talk a little bit, and this is the last story. We're going to talk a little bit about the 14-year-old and what the Prime Minister, Andrew Olness, has to say about it. It is very sad. He said Jamaica faces a wider problem of its young men being involved in violence, noting that approximately 50% of them under age and 24 are responsible for MURDERS and SHOOTINGS. Allness made the comments while expressing sadness at the fatal SHOOTING of a 14 year old Pembroke Hall High School student, Rasheen Wilson during an operation by the security forces in 100, um, yeah, 100, man, 100 lane of Freddy's Road in St. Andrew on Wednesday. According to the report from the Police Corporation Un Communications Unit, Rashim was fatally SHOT during a joint police military operation at uh, 1.45 p.m. Mm -mm. A 9 millimeter have contended that, no, a 9 millimeter fitted with a magazine containing 14 9 millimeter rounds was reportedly seized by the security forces. Residents have contended that Rashin was K-I-L-L-E-D in cold blood. As he was said, to have been in the yard playing a video game on his phone. The police have, however, rejected that assertion. Oh, goodness, now the Indicom gonna have to get involved, you know, guys. Same thing, Mr. The Indicom is probing the incident following the protest by residents of the era in the aftermath of the teens, D E A T H. Olness speaking to students at Manchester High School on Friday said he could not comment on the commission, I mean, circumstances of the fatal shooting. When I saw it, I immediately reacted, reached out to get an understanding of exactly what happened. 
And that's what Andrew Olness said. How could a 14-year-old be K-I-L-L-E-D in a shootout by the police? And I'm very sad about it. In addressing especially the 14-year-old boys in the audience, the Prime Minister said the issue of violence in the society urgently needs to be addressed. Right? I'm going to make an ear some of what Andrew had to say. I read a very sad report of a 14-year-old, like many 14-year-olds here. He was shot and killed by the police. And when I saw it, I immediately reached out to get an understanding of what exactly happened. How could a 14-year-old be killed in a shootout by the police? And I was very sad about it. I can't comment on the circumstances. But I will say this to you, especially to the 14-year-old boys who are here. In Jamaica, 90%, well, more than 90% of crimes committed, particularly serious crimes, murders and shootings, are by males. A significant percentage I don't have the exact figure, but I would venture to say that more than 50% of the shootings and murders are by males under 24. The other side of the equation is also that males, young males, are predominantly predominantly the victims of crimes. So we have a problem with resolving conflicts. We have a problem with violence. But we also have a problem with our young men in conflict and using violence and being the victims of violence. Yes, family, that is very sad for that 14-year-old to lose their life. Regardless of what it is, a, li a lost life is very, very sad. So I want to say condolences to the family, as well as those students who are mourning their classmates and, uh, you know, the parents and well-wishers. Because uh, most times, you know, no matter how somebody, they know, you always have people who are going to mourn for them because they have people who care about them, all right? So anyway, we want to say condolences to the family, RIP, and let us pray for our children. Let us try to keep our children covered under the blood of Jesus. Pray, pray for them every morning they leave your house. Pray that they be covered from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet and that no weapon formed against them shall prosper and any tongue that rise up against them shall be condemned. So just pray for your kids, pray for your family and uh, your loved ones because there is no distance in prayer once again i want to say thank you so much for your support uh, go ahead and uh, check the like button if you're not doing it yet uh, share the video if you're not doing it yet share on all of your platforms them also check out my other platforms my tiktok uh, at uh, lady b official uh, my instagram lady b official uh, my twitter lady b official uh, at qtf uh, as well as my facebook uh, Jam Girls Journeys to Health and Lady Be Unstoppable. So go ahead and check those out. Thank you again for watching and have a great, great day. Whichever day you're watching this video, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or Saturday.